All right, hey guys, what's up? So we're gonna do one that's sort of like a meal prep one, uh, just so it's easier to get all of your chopping and all of everything done um, ahead of time. And then you can just, all you have to do later on is add in some hot water or the broth. Um, so before we get into all that, uh, what we're gonna be making today is um, like a Mr. Noodle type meal. Um, so this will be for your like lunch, I guess, or maybe your dinner, whichever you like. Um, use whatever kind of noodles that you would like. Um, I do suggest having a couple of spare jars um, kicking around so that you can store all the rest of the ingredients in there. Um, yeah, and then you can just store these in your fridge. Um, and then when you're ready, you just add the noodles of your choice and the broth. So you just heat the broth and put it on top and then you're good to go. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is get all of our ingredients ready to go. Um, so I have a couple of different kinds of noodles here. Um, I know that probably most places, doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can find some of these um, rice noodles or like vermicelli. Um, they're very inexpensive, delicious. Um, yeah, they're just made with rice and water. That's the only ingredients there. Um, and then I found these really awesome organic black bean spaghetti noodles. Um, and I had these the other day with this same recipe and they tasted awesome. So um, recommend these if you can find them. Another healthier choice than your just regular pre-packaged pre Mr. Noodles. Okay, so um, yeah, I didn't chop anything yet. So we're gonna get started with the chopping. Um, the three things that I do recommend you absolutely add um, is ginger, fresh ginger, garlic, and a shallot. If you don't have shallots, you can just use an onion. Um, I just like the taste of these a little bit better for this recipe. Just kind of spices it up a bit more without making it spicy. Um, of course, you can add like other things like jalapeno um, if you like it actually spicy. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be using a couple of different greens today. We have some fresh broccoli and some bok choy and some zucchini or courgette um, and just a tomato. Just cause I like tomatoes. This isn't like a necessary add, but I would add it to mine just for that flavor. Um, so yeah, oh, and I'm gonna add some mushrooms as well. Um, again, if you don't like mushrooms, don't add them. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of chopping um, and yeah. Oh yeah, I also have this, some green onions just to top them up. More spice. Um, and then yeah, the only other spices you're gonna need is maybe some salt and pepper, but honestly, you don't really need that once you um, add in the broth. So for the broth today, I'm just uh, currently warming up a pot of water and I just have one of these like vegetable cubes, one and a half, um, and I have about three cups of water. Um, just follow the instructions on the broth. Uh, yeah, so for real, let's get started. I'm gonna start chopping everything up. All right, so as we chop up our herbs, we're just gonna put them right in the pan. Um, we'll leave the greens for last, because they're just gonna go in raw. And I'll just add these vegetable cubes. At this point, we want to have uh, the vegetables kind of looking like this before they're almost ready to just go straight into our mason jars. Um, yeah, so just going to keep chopping. Um, one other tip I do want to say um, for kind of cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, um, they're okay to eat raw, but they always kind of hurt my stomach because they're really, really intense um, and very hard to um, digest. For me anyways, I think for most people, but I digress. Um, I would partially boil these like halfway before even putting them in here. You don't want them to be mushy, so definitely suggest um, just halfway. 
Um, for the herbs and stuff though, you wanna cook them all the way so that they have the most flavor. I found a good way to chop them is chop off the ends and then kind of stack them inside themselves. And of course you've previously washed these already. So um, I'm just gonna chop them this way so that they're kind of julienne, not properly. I'm not gonna say that they're properly julienne because I'm sure somebody will come for me if I say that. But just as thin as possible. And again, you can totally chop these messily if you like. All right, so we can start building these now. Well, these get a little bit blanched. Um, so what we'll start with is our herbs and veggies mixture. So just put as many as you would like in the bottom. I just like evenly um, place them. Maybe get a spoon. Here we go. Um, and I know this is like a lot of um, prep work right now, but it's gonna save you time later. And then we're gonna wanna put our tomatoes in next. Okay, so our next thing is going to be the bok choy. And again, you're just putting them in raw. The reason we're stacking them like this is because we want them to be, uh, like they could last for three to five days in the fridge um, and they won't be mushy once again. <laughs> cool. So for me, I have these um, black beans for today. It was what I'll use. Um, I could use the rice ones later. But yeah, um, what you wanna do is add them to your meal. Um, you can do this two ways. Uh, you can keep them in another container off to the side and then add the hot broth to those. Um, or you could just add them right in with these. And since I will not be having lunch out anywhere, uh, personally, I'm just gonna put them right in the broth um, and then put them on top. Uh, so I'm just gonna let you check it out. Um, these are super thin and delicious. Um, they look like straw or something. So yeah, there you have it. A healthy Mr. Noodles recipe that you can take with you to go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that bell notification for the next time my videos come out. Peace.